This is the Unit 7 Study Guide Answer Key for questions number 18 and 19. For these sections, you've got to fill in some tables and some blank spaces, and they've given us just enough information to do that. So on number 18, this one right here is the example. So this one, you don't have to do anything with it. just shows us what to do for the future ones. So in this example one, they're showing us iron with a 2 plus charge, and then we're supposed to go through and fill in these other spots. You're going to need a periodic table for this, most likely. Um, and this also leads into the next one at the bottom also. So the very first one that we have to work on is N with a 3 minus next to it. So looking at the periodic table, I'm going to kind of jump all over. N is nitrogen, so we can fill that in, nitrogen. And we also know because it's nitrogen, it's number 7 on the periodic table. That gives us 7 protons. The next ones are the ones that require a little bit more thinking. So a 3 minus actually means that it has 3 extra electrons. So if it has, oh, that's an E-L-E-C-T, electrons. So because it has 3 extra electrons, its overall charge is 3 minus. Maybe that one didn't require much thinking. We just took it straight from the notation. The electrons, though, might take a little more thinking. So protons have the plus charge. Electrons have the minus charge. If we've already got seven pluses, we need to figure out how many minuses do we need to have so that when they're done canceling each other out, we end up with an overall charge of three minus. So if we had seven and seven, seven of each, that would give us a neutral charge. So we just need three more than that to give us the three minus, so it's got to be 10, because seven plus three is 10. This next one, I'm going to go a little faster. So this one, all they're telling us is the number of protons and electrons. So because it has four protons, it's got to be number four on the periodic table, which is beryllium. And on the periodic table, that's a B-E. And I'm a terrible speller, but I'll give it a shot. B-R-Y-L-L-I-U-M. If I got it wrong, I'm sure you'll tell me later, but spelling, who cares? So protons and electrons, this is where we have to figure out what the overall charge is. Remember, protons are pluses, electrons are minuses. If we have two electrons and two protons, two of each of these are going to cancel out, and I'm left over with two protons, so that's going to be a two plus charge. And so I'm going to go and finish my notation beryllium with a two plus charge. The third one on here <clears throat> tells us that it has eight electrons and that it's oxygen. So the notation for oxygen is a capital O on the periodic table. And oxygen on the periodic table is number eight, so it has to have eight protons. And since it has eight protons and eight electrons, I know that this thing has to be neutral, so the overall charge is going to be zero. And that means that I don't have to put any plus or minus anything up top um, for the notation. And that one is done. For number 19, it says, how many valence electrons does each of these atoms have? And assuming we're neutral. So I'm looking at fluorine, and fluorine is in the 7A column on your periodic table. And if you count over, that means that it also you count over seven. So it has seven valence electrons. And when it says element with similar properties, that only means anything that's in the same column. So if you're looking at your periodic table, it's all the enes, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So we could pick any of those. So how about iodine, or some people say iodine? Um, because it has seven valence electrons, it's going to behave the same way. So the rest of these should be fast. Lithium is in the very first column, so it has one valence electron. Something else that's in the same column, how about sodium? Argon is in the eighth, so it has eight. And this one I'm going to pick something weird on purpose. Helium, because it's in the same column on the periodic table, even though it has two valence electrons instead of eight, because it has a full shell, remember that first shell can only hold two, because it has a full shell, it's going to behave the same way or have the similar property as the rest of the elements in that same column.